This in-gen power flow cold air intake with the oiled filter and the polished tube is for those of you that have a 2018 and up JL with the 3.6 liter engine that are looking for a cold air intake for a little bit more throttle response, a little bit more power, some more efficiency and a little bit more sound from underneath the hood when you really mash that pedal. This is going to be a nice easy one out of three wrench installation just sliding in place of your factory intake tubing and we're going to show you how to do that in just a second. So as I said a few different benefits to a cold air intake. It is going to be a little bit more efficient by giving you a few more miles per gallon. You're also going to get a little bit more throttle response. So off the line when you hit the throttle the Jeep is going to get up and go a little bit faster. You're going to get a few more horsepower and a little bit more torque as well. And finally when you open up the intake you can get a little bit more sound out of the intake when you really are into the throttle pretty hard. So on the highway when you're passing maybe in an off-road situation where you're getting some wheel speed up in the mud. So a few different benefits to a cold air intake. That being said, a little bit of a drawback if you're somebody who does some off-roading where there's a lot of water crossings, you're probably gonna wanna stay away from something like this because it does allow the engine to suck water into it a little bit easier than the factory intake system does, and that of course can be catastrophic. So do be a little bit careful with that. So a lot of different cold air intakes on the market. What is the difference from one to the next? Well, one is going to be the materials. This is going to be a metal tube that is of course polished as opposed to a plastic tube or a metal one that is going to be powder coated. So that's going to be one difference. And that is going to make this a little bit more of an expensive system than some of the other choices out there. The other thing is that this is essentially a sealed or a full air box that you're getting here. So of course your tubing connects over here on this side and there is an opening here to allow the air in, but it's in a very specific spot. Some of the less expensive systems are just a tube with a filter jammed on the end of them. Some of them just have a little bit of a shroud to help the intake pool cooler air instead of hotter air. This actually has a full air box here. The idea here is that it keeps the intake uh, filter from pulling any of the hot air from the engine side and only allows it to pull cold air through this one spot here, giving your engine the coolest, most dense air possible. Now, because this is a full box, more material there, more engineering, a little bit more cost. This system here is going to run you right around that $330 mark. I think that's pretty fair for what you're getting. Again, you have the polished metal tube, pretty much a full air box. You have the oiled reusable filter. So there are a lot of features here that you are getting. If you're looking to save yourself a couple of dollars and you still want a cold air intake, you can probably get one that has a plastic tube and doesn't have a full box here for a little bit less money. But again, for the features that you're getting, I think the price tag associated with this is pretty fair. We said before that this slides right in place of your factory intake tubing. This is a very simple one out of three wrenches. Let's show you how to do it. Tools used for this install are 3 8 impact gun, 3 8 ratchet, short 3 8 extension, a panel pry tool, 10 millimeter socket, 8 millimeter socket. All right, first thing we're gonna do is obviously open your hood up. We have our hood open here. We're gonna locate the temperature sensor in the intake tube here, and we're gonna disconnect this harness, pushing in on the tab and pulling straight out. Once you have that undone, we can come right here and remove these two push pins. Next, we're gonna go right over here to the crank case pressure line. And what we're gonna do here is push in on the gray tab and pull straight back. All right, next up, I have a 10 millimeter socket on my impact gun. I'm gonna remove these two bolts right here on our intake tube. All right, next up, we're gonna remove this 10 millimeter bolt securing the air box to the vehicle. I have a 10 millimeter socket on my impact gun. Next up, we're gonna to move to the clamp at the throttle body. This is an eight millimeter nut. And we're gonna loosen this. And now we're ready to remove the entire air box assembly with the tube. So I'm gonna detach this from the throttle body. And we actually have one more line to disconnect right here. I forgot one push pin. All right, now we should be able to lift the entire assembly right on out of here. First thing we're gonna do is remove the factory air temperature sensor out of the factory air intake tube. You wanna 
very carefully pry back on the sensor and spin it counterclockwise until it stops. And once you reach that point, you're gonna wiggle it very carefully to release the little rubber O-ring that's inside the tube here. And that's it, we're gonna save this uh, for a couple next steps here and it's gonna be installed into our new cold air intake. Next thing we're gonna do is take the bracket and the provided standoffs and we're gonna bolt the standoffs onto our bracket here. All right, and we can tighten these up with a 10 mil. All right, we can now bolt our bracket right up to our air box here. And we're gonna use the provided M8 bolts. All right, we're ready to install our air box now. We wanna make sure that we get these two black standoffs into the holes down in the Jeep here where our factory air box was mounted to originally. All right, next thing we're gonna do is install the straight hose coupling here. Uh, make sure we put two hose clamps on it. We're gonna go right onto the throttle body with this. Make sure our engine logo is straight up. All right, and we're gonna leave these clamps loose for now. All right, so now we're ready to install our intake tube. I'm gonna put a hose clamp down here on our air filter. And I'm gonna slide our tube right on in here. We'll get it started into our air filter. And then right from our air filter, we're gonna go into the throttle body. All right, and once you've got your tube situated where you want it, we can take our crankcase ventilation tube and plug this guy right back in. We're just gonna push it in until it's seated. All right, we got an eight millimeter socket here at the two clamps on our throttle body. And one more down here at our air box. All right, and last but not least, we have our temperature sensor where you're going to stick it into the grommet on the intake tube and find our harness that we unplugged earlier. And we'll plug this guy right back in. And the plug can only go one way. All right, that's gonna wrap up our review and install. Be sure to check out more at extremeterrain.com.